So let's get into the topic right away. Why why go online? I think it's a question that recently a lot of people uh, uh, is asking, right? Especially since last year, since the pandemic, the COVID nineteen pandemic spread worldwide. Then people has the you know the the cautions and the 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 thoughts that oh my my business is suffering. I should go online. But in fact, since 2016, since we started the business, we already start go around Malaysia and, and telling people that, hey, your, your business should go online. Your traditional business should go online. Later, I will share some, stati uh, some statistics with you all and uh, you will be surprised how many company or how many businesses now in Malaysia is still not online, still running in a traditional way. I will share with you later. Okay, so going into the topic, why go online? The reason number one, very important reason number one is evolutions. It's evolutions. So human civilizations has been around for 5,000 years. Right? So since the day we know how to use stone, then we know how to build tools, we know how to uh, do agriculture, then we go into the industrial age, then in the 20th century, we go into the computer age, right? And now the 21st century, we call it the mobile age, the mobile era, right? It's the way human has been evolving since the beginning of civilizations and how we you know, uh, involved in the society using technology advancement. So, reason number one, evolutions. So, during the mobile online era, which is now, there are a lot of changes in human lifestyle worldwide, right? So, at first, communications, right? Anyone here still writing letters? Do you still make pen pals today? I, I don't think so, right? <laughs> I don't think so. So everybody start using instant messengers now. In some country, some Western country or some, you know, China, let's say China. China now is a very, very uh, advancing, I mean rapidly grown country, comparing, even comparing to, to, to Western country. In China, most of them, when they do business, they don't use email anymore. They don't use email. They go directly into the instant messaging. Right? If you say I want to write email to you, uh, you can check your email, they will say, hey, come on, just send me the message. Just send the message. Right? So the message itself is a digital footprint, is a digital proof can be used uh, for recording purposes as well. Right? So communication, the way people communicate has changed. Banking, of course, this has been changing since the 90s, right? Everybody go on e-banking, e-banking. Yeah, now we still see some auntie uncle lining up in front of the bank, you know, uh, asking the teller to help to update the bank book. But I believe uh, everyone in this meeting today, you, you know how to use your e-banking, right? Right, so not just banking itself, I mean, uh, uh, consumer-wise, I mean, we move on to e-wallets today, right? So, uh, the changes in, in, in the human way of managing their financial and managing their banking social life right that's the first thing like i always share in uh, my trainings my digital marketing trainings or my social media trainings with my students i always ask these questions what is the first thing you do when you wake up now what is the first thing you do you don't go to the toilet now the first thing you do when you wake up is you check your social media status Right? So this is how, you know, during in the mobile era, how technology affects our social life. Yeah? So entertainment, right? We, we, we have TV box everywhere now. All the TV box are streaming from online. We, got it? Ken? Okay. So TV box is uh, streaming directly from online and then uh, 
you have Netflix, you have Amazon, TV, so everything accessing from online. All right, job search. Yeah, so I think a lot of uh, students here will get involved in this very soon. Right? So, do you still buy newspaper to look for job? I don't think you even have that in mind. <laughs> I think what you think of is, you know, I'll just go on Job Street, I'll go to the internet, I'll just search for job posting, go to those directory sites, search for job postings, and apply my job from there. And then traveling, right? I, who still engaging a travel agency or tour agency to book your ticket, to book your hotel, to plan your tour? No, everybody go on Asia website, go on, you know, uh, whatever air traveling website, air flight ticket booking site. Then you go on to Agoda, you go on to Expedia to book your own hotel, right? So on and so forth. Now, when you are when you are traveling on that country, you depends on Google Maps, right? You you uh, search for directory, you search for the Google uh, directory to uh, to find you the the best restaurant around, the best attraction around. So basically, you can entirely self manage your own traveling today. Then news and weather. Well, a lot of people speak already not using uh, or not reading or buying newspapers now if you go to the coffee shop for breakfast people basically are looking at mobile phones right it used to be when i was a student it used to be the uncle auntie or a lot of people working class while they are enjoying their breakfast in the coffee shop they are reading newspaper right they are not uh, you know, using the mobile phone. But today, when you go to any cafe or any anywhere, everybody's looking at the, the mobile phones. And people today, they trust Facebook more than they trust the newspaper. Yeah? Then, of course, this is a no-brainer, shopping. Right? So everybody go on shopping spree, you know? Like, the re reason, recently, I think the biggest platform I mean shopping platform, the, the most well-known and the, the hottest one I think is Shopee. I see the, the, the commercial everywhere in Shopee. So uh, I believe a lot of people during this uh, pandemic area, you go on mark shoppings with GrabMart, you order your food with GrabFood, yeah, those kind of things. So these are some of the aspects. These are some of the aspects that is in our daily life today, right, in our daily life. So, if any one of us here, today, you want to go out, you're leaving your colleges, you want to go out and start your online business, these are some of the perspective you can look into. Communications, banking, social life, entertainment, shopping, news and weather, travel, job search, so on and so forth. Now, these are some of the area you can look into where can I tag in my online business right so you, everyone has have their own different talents you know, where your talents can apply in, in which of this uh, area yeah so have a thought on on that part okay so the reason number one is evolutions the reason number two e-commerce or online business or going online has no limits has no limits at all you can have your website up and you or you can have your apps up and you can just simply blast it around the world without any boundaries yeah except i think china <laughs> so if your, your your products or your apps is a little bit politically Sensitive, you might have some problem with China, but I believe all the rest of the world shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so there used to be a saying the sky is the limit, but uh, in the mobile era, sky is not the limit. Okay, so the world's largest taxi company, but they own no vehicles. Can anyone guess? 
What company is that? It's Uber. Yeah? So the world most popular media owner, but this company, they never created any content. It's Facebook. Because all the content comes from the users. Same for Uber. The car comes from the user. The customer is also the user. Right? Uber never spent a cent to buy a vehicle and you know Ubering out. The most valuable retailer, but there's no inventory. Right? They are selling a lot of stand, uh, they are selling a lot of stuff, but they don't own any inventory. That's Alibaba. It used to be Alibaba, now I believe uh, some other companies the top already. So the world largest accommodation providers but owns no real estate. So can anyone guess which it is? It's Airbnb. Right? So Airbnb is the largest hotel and accommodations uh, homestay provider in the world. But they never spend a cent to buy one real estate. Yeah? So because everybody, the one who provides is the user. The one who consume is the user. Yeah, so this only can happen in the 21st century because of technology advancement, because of the mobile technologies that we are using it today. Right? So that's the very first, uh, that's the, those are the two reasons that uh, we must have in mind that when we start a new company or when we start a business, your focus must be online instead of you still doing the traditional way. Okay? So let me come here and share with everybody here some facts and statistics. How's the markets today? Right? So what you are seeing here is the world. The world now has 7.3 billion people, right? So internet, world internet user, there are 3.4 billion people. That means almost 50%, almost half of the world is online, right? Almost half the world is online. So now you see the, the yellow circle here, this is Asia. So Asia, there are 4 billion people. Right, more than half of the people in the world. So Asia's internet users, there are 1.6 billion people. They are 40%. Almost half of Asia is online. So how about how about Malaysia? Right? How about Malaysia? From here you can see almost half of the world is online. Or 40% of Asia is online. That means those are your markets, you know. When you start your own business and you go online and using the power of internet, using the power of mobile technologies, you can promote your business worldwide, right? Of course, you still need a lot of knowledge, you still need a lot of skills like how to target your market, how to use the best tools, the best and the most effective tools, right, to promote your business to your target audience. I think that will be covered later by this time. Yeah. So, let's look at Malaysia. So in Malaysia today, there are 31 million people. So, Malaysian internet user, there are 21 million people. There's 70%. Almost 7 out of 10 people are online. Right, I think the other three uh, uh, you know, a uh, very old uncle, auntie, who ref refused to learn uh, how to use the new mobile phone. They are still using the old Nokia, right? I share some story here. There's a used. To, I used to have one client. The boss is like sixty something a few years back, right? So he uh, don't know how to use the the modern smartphone. So I went to his office to visit him. He has about 20 over Nokia phone in his office, still in a box. I say, oh, 
boss, this is amazing. Now, why, why you can buy so much like that? He said he's scared that when this phone is out, he can't buy back. And he feel very reluctant and difficult to, to, to learn how to use mobile phone. Right? So when he go to the, the mobile phone store, when the people tell him, hey uncle, this phone is gonna obsolete already. Right? You need to learn. So straight away he ordered 20 over unit so that he can use until he die. Okay? So I believe that uh, there are those people that are still existing around and uh, those are the three out of ten. Right? And of course babies are uh, very young, small babies. Right? Uh, I saw a three years old start using mobile phone and tell the mom to buy the toy for him from Lazada. Even a three years old has the conscience that buying and shopping online. So you see how, how the future is going to be. Like. All right? So out of 10 internet users, eight of them have shopped at least once. That means, what does it mean? It means that people feel comfortable to shop online already. Right? Men above 35 years old shop 1.5 times more than women. Yeah, this is a this is very surprising, isn't it? You thought women are the shopper, huh? Yeah, but shop online, men seems like it's more aggressive. Right? So 1.5 times more. 85% of people who have never shopped online said that they will try. So those people who just started learn how to use the mobile phone, those people who just learn, started to learn about, about those e-commerce platform, yeah, they will say, yeah, they will try, right? So what it means, it means that it's affecting everybody, right? Even the stubborn one, now it's getting, effect, uh, it's getting affected, right? By, by his family, by or by his friends. Or per, it could be just a simple reason that they don't have other choice anymore, right? When you go to the governments uh, to, to process your government, uh, you know, the uh, government's or officials uh, matters, if they face out the papers and tell you you need to register online now, you have to do that, right? Even though you, are, you, you don't like the technology, you don't like to use computers, you still have to learn, okay? So East Malaysia shot 2.6 times more than Western Malaysia, right? So I believe that uh, it's because uh, East Malaysia, they have access to things, uh, to resources slower than Western Malaysia or because of the lack of uh, international port. Because all the international port, the logistics come to West Malaysia first, then West Malaysia will send to East Malaysia. So that's why they will want to buy uh, more things that is uh, not available to them. You know, I mean only available through online. Yeah. So now if you want to uh, uh, start an online business or you want to start sell your product and services online, don't, don't ignore the East Malaysian, which is Sabah, Sarawak. Those are the people with money, but no, no place to spend, okay? So 59% shop at, at least once a month. 29% shop more than once. Yeah, you see the, the frequency is quite high. 80% of shoppers shop with a mobile device. Yeah, so what does it mean? When you design your online business, when you do your website, please, you, you must make sure that your website is mobile device compatible. That means your website is responsive. When you put it on a mobile device, it will look as nice. Alright? 83% online shopper prefer online payment method. So 10 out of 3, I mean two, uh, 8 out of 10 people very comfortable with paying online. Yeah, now it's not a question anymore. I mean 5 years back when I, 
when I start doing the business, when I go around giving seminar, giving talk, there are still people very reluctant and or not very trust the online payment method. But today, everybody is very comfortable, especially since last year, last two years, the government started introducing uh, the e-wallet touch and go uh, officially. Okay, so 95% online shoppers said that they are happy and they are satisfied. Yeah, so people are very, very comfortable. So what does the statistic tell you? Yeah, in, in, in a very simple conclusion, uh, it is the online era, it is the mobile era, and uh, people are very, very comfortable with buying online. And uh, the, statistic, the statistics show you that Malaysians are moving towards uh, that comfort zone, that the comfortable level as well. It will only go forward. It won't go. It won't come backward anymore. Now imagine today you start a business. You start a business by renting a shop in Gurney Plaza, right? So when you rent a shop in Gurney Plaza, how much are they gonna charge you a month for the rental? Right? They're gonna charge you like 4,000, 5,000 ringgit a month. Let's move, if you move a bit higher and your shop become a bit slow, uh, smaller, it will still cost you around 3,000 ringgit a month. They will come to 36,000 ringgit a year. Now imagine just throwing this 36,000 ringgit a year into a, a Gurney Plaza shop to do your business. And then who you gonna get? You're gonna get the people who walk in front of your shop. You, you're gonna get the people who visited Gurney Plaza. Uh, or the people who uh, go to Gurney Plaza website to know about you. But if you throw in the online factors, right? You build your websites, you put yourself in social media, you put yourself in the Google uh, directory, uh, so on and so forth. You put yourself on Instagram, on YouTube channel. Then your exposure will be a lot bigger. Right? People could just straight away know you from internet instead of going to Gurney Plaza. They visited your business through your website instead of going to Gurney Plaza. Right? So now if you build in the e-commerce mechanism for people to directly buy from you online, people will not go to Gurney Plaza to buy from your shop. They will straight away buy from you from your website. So eventually, you just close down your Gurney Plaza store or shop then just sustain your online business, your online website, which every year will cost a lot, a lot less. Yeah, so this is how it's gonna be. We, we see a lot of examples outside. Yeah, some of our clients, when they getting more and more successful from the online side, they close down their physical store, right? Because the physical store, the, the rent is very expensive, okay? So some crucial questions to ask before you want to decide to decide to start your online business, right? So you need to ask what do people need, right? Everybody has their own journey, right? When you grow up, everybody has their own journey and everybody has their own talent. From your talent, from your own observation, from your own knowledge, from your own skills, what can you provide? to what people need. Yeah, but before that you need to ask what do people need? Then, like I say, what do you have to offer? Okay? Do you have a, a specialized knowledge or experience to sell to people? Can you make something like art? like uh, a very unique product uh, to offer that uh, it doesn't exist in the market yet or what you already have on hand example like uh, some traditional business right they have been doing the business for two three generations they are they have a very very good product that 
through these years, people love it, people want to use it, and people want to buy it. But it's not online yet. So you have to straight away take that things and put it online. Does someone have already do what you wanted to do? Right? So is your things already, you know, have it has been existing outside or a lot of people are already doing outside then you have to be unique you have to think of what I can do to be different from people okay so learn from a successful example and not copying the successful uh, example right the reason is you are not them and they are not you so be yourself you need to find you need to put in sometimes to define who are you and what do you have to offer to your online business. Don't just, are people selling food online, then I sell food online. You have to be special. You have to be different from other people. Everybody. Um, my high tree is a HRDF certified training providers. So uh, we have a Panjana funded training which is the tra real training that is offered to the public without Panjana, it will cost uh, thousands and thousands of ringgit per head lah, right? So for 2021, because of Panjana funding, Panjana is, uh, is an initiative uh, by the government, initiated by the government uh, to, to benefit the people uh, to upgrade themselves, go to the training and upgrade themselves. So, Panjana funded some of the training uh, that uh, High Tree provided. You can go to this website, this site here. Uh, you can uh, use your mobile phone and take a green screen or whatever. Uh, you can visit it later. So, we have some courses that is offered to the public to register and attend. Absolutely free. In fact, it's not free. It's paid by the government. Yeah. So. You just go to the website and write down your name and then register yourself. Choose what course you like to attend. Then uh, uh, register it. Then we will go through a selection process because every round uh, the, the headcount is limited. So we will go through the process and then just uh, register yourself. When you are selected, we will contact with you and you can attend the training for free. Right? So, just go there and have a look. Okay, secondly, I, we have a system is called uh, My High Tree Resume. So, it's a free resume system where you can build your free online digital uh, resume in 15 minutes. Yeah, so you can go to this website, hightreeresume.com to register them. Yeah, register and then start building your online resume. So, it's like a, it's like a web template for your resume. So try it out. Uh, it's absolutely free from us. Okay? And if you want to print it out, you can print them out as well. Okay? So, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, now, currently we are under the pandemic, I mean the COVID-19 pandemic. Then, we don't know when will it end, right? So, do you think that uh, this selling online will, I mean, after COVID-19, Okay, after we finish uh, the pandemic, will it doing business online still be continued as a trend? Or it will go back to the old normal? Um actually actually the the online business, how's the trend gonna gonna be like? We just have to look at China, right? Even before any pandemic happened or anything happened in the world, uh China already advancing to the to the stage that uh, ten years ago they already start using uh, e-wallets. Everybody go out and uh, no one bringing cash anymore. Even ten years back, they just bring the mobile phone. Wherever they go, they go watch a movie. They go go uh, shopping in the in the shopping complex. They go to you know have food anywhere. It's all using e-wallet. So Malaysia is moving towards that direction. In fact, I believe the world is moving to that uh, direction. Um, the pandemic actually speed up, speed up online business trends. 
instead of of slowing it, uh, speed it up. So everybody have a have a mind here now, have a caution here now. Oh, I better get my business online. This is what happened. See, a lot of traditional business they suffer the most when this pandemic happens because they totally do not have any online presence, right? So for for us high three, we actually during the pandemic, we receive a lot of uh, inquiries and eventually become an orders lah to develop system for people because they come to us and say oh because of the pandemic, I lose this, I lose a lot of business. I I better prepare myself for the future, right? So to my opinion, it will not go back to less online. It will maintain and it will move forward because now people know how important is it to get their business online because of the pandemic. Okay, I like to take I like to take this opportunity to to thanks to Miss Tan for these opportunities. Thank you very much, and thank you, uh, Mister College, for giving me the opportunity as well. So uh, I hope I hope everybody will do well in your own online business journey, and then I'm sure. We will meet again in the future.